Okay, um... This is actually a very short horror movie. And ironically, I don't know why it had a sequel. There really wasn't a reason to do a sequel of it. That movie, of course, is Open Water. The premise is, an un is undeniably simple. You have two workaholics, they decide, you know what? We need a nice vacation. They go out on a boat. That's right. They on a boat. Anyways. <clears throat> they take it out and left in the water. Shark and Festival. water. Now, I saw us moving theaters, and I'll be honest, with it being like super, super low budget, and the sharks being real, there's a definite sense of tension with this whole movie. Because you, know, you can tell that there, there's part of the acting going on, and then there's also the sheer realism of the fact that they actually are surrounded by sharks. It's an interesting movie. It suffers from a non-ending. You know, you never know if they get picked up or if they actually just essentially float there and get eaten by sharks. It's a good movie. It's an interesting movie. It's very, very character-driven. Like, it suffers from a non-ending, though. On the bright side, it's like, I think, like a little over an hour. Now, for recent horror movies that are, you know, over an hour in length, you know, roughly over an hour in length, this is a very good choice. And, you know, if you enjoy movies like Jaws and you're a fan of, essentially, shark attacks, this movie has a lot, a lot to offer in an aspect like that. If you're looking for, you know, like, a gore-filled movie, you would think that people being surrounded by sharks, they would eventually get eaten by them. But it's not. Essentially, it's, it's, it's two people, Floyd and Water, so there's that constant kind of, you know, wave over the water. It gives you almost like a sensation like you're the, like you're a third person with them. So, if you have about an hour and 20 minutes to kill, you want to see a very tension-filled movie that only suffers from a non-ending, I highly recommend Open Water.